Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In this video, I'm just coming at you to share with you what I use as an alternative to the Uber Chic mat. It's just a pastry mat that I found on eBay and I bought it off of a US seller and it was $6.89. Free shipping, it was the large silicone pastry mat and it came very fast. I bought it like September 3rd and I got it on the 8th and it is 19 and a half inches by 15 and a half inches and on the uh, eBay ad it says like 50 centimeters and by 38 centimeters and 50 centimeters is 19 and a half inches 38 centimeters is 15 and a half inches and the uber chic mat is 16 inches by 12 so this is considerably larger than your uber chic mat and of course it doesn't have the markings that an uber chic mat has like with the hand it's okay with me um i'm not saying not to get an uber chic mat but i'm just saying there is alternatives out there and uh, there's several videos out there. I think Inspirational Nails has a really good one uh, about alternatives to the Uber Chic mat. And I will put her video in the description box below. And I'm not saying not to buy the Uber Chic mat because I don't have it, so I really can't compare it. But I do know that it's the same material. It's uh, very thin silicone and I recently got a new table to work on, nail table, and the table is like a, a laminate uh, surface and not glass like my other one. And I wanted to have a larger mat so that I could work on. I could, um, you know, do acrylic on, gel, you know, polish, stamping, everything um, that you do on an uber chic mat you can do on this mat here and the uber chic is i think it's 15 dollars i don't know about shipping or anything like that but um i'm sure it's a nice mat too and once you lay it down it it really sticks to the surface uh, of whatever it's laying on top of really well so it doesn't slide around it just stays put and it is acetone resistant as well i just stamped an image right on the mat and I'm just going to use some acetone and take that off and show you. Just look at that. No damage to the mat. And if you get dust or, you know, fuzz or anything that seems to be sticking to your mat, all you need to do is just take a wet, damp washcloth and just wash it off. It comes right off. Show you how I make a nail decal. Um, out of polish in a stamping plate and I'll show you how that works out. Okay, I took a fast drying top coat and I, you know, applied it to the mat in a square and I'm gonna stamp over it. And I'm going to be using this messy Mansion Plate 71 with this Sugar Skull woman right here. And thanks Jamie for showing me this plate because I really love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in where I want uh, on this image to have some color. The nail decal is now dry and I will top coat it with Sally Hansen's Insta Dry in Clear. off and look at that see it's already lifting off so you could use this mat to make a lot of these at one time just make a whole row look at that it peels right off let's flip it over look at that it's beautiful I'll give you an up-close look look at that that is a beautiful nail decal isn't it it's just beautiful and look, you can cut it to fit your nail size. You can make a lot of these decals up ahead of time. And when you're done with them, you just put them in these little mini Ziploc storage bags and stick them in your drawer and they'll be ready when you are ready to use them. I will leave the link in the description box below and you can check it out. And as always everyone, thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye!